Hey, it's Dad's old trumpet. That's the spit valve. Dear Tim and Moby, What's so great about Louis Armstrong? From Roger. Louis Armstrong was probably the most popular and influential jazz musician in history. He was the first jazz superstar, helping it grow from a local style of dance music to a respected art form played by musicians all over the world. Louis Daniel Armstrong was born in New Orleans on August 4, 1901. He grew up in a poor neighborhood where he sang on the street for pennies. Well, his father abandoned the family when Louis was a baby, and his mom left him with his grandmother. Without much adult guidance, he got into his share of trouble with the police. But it was in a juvenile detention center that young Louis Armstrong learned to play the coronet, a brass instrument similar to the trumpet. By the age of 18, his musical talent and constant practice landed him a job in Kid Ory's band. It was considered the best hot jazz group in New Orleans. Hot jazz was an early form of jazz that emphasized improvisation. Each musician in the band would play his own variation on the melody. Yeah, it could sound pretty chaotic, but the best hot jazz musicians would weave their sounds together and create music that was both fun and original. Louis was a master of improvisation and soon became popular enough to strike out on his own. He moved to Chicago, where he made records with his own bands, the Hot Five and later the Hot Seven. On these famous recordings, Armstrong introduced the solo to jazz. During a solo, one musician improvises while the rest of the band stays silent or plays quietly in the background. Louis' recordings with the Hot Five and Hot Seven changed jazz forever. The solo soon became the centerpiece of all major styles of jazz music. Louis' records were huge hits, establishing him as an international star and introducing jazz to the world. Oh no, he didn't just play the trumpet. Armstrong pretty much invented jazz singing, too. His voice was gravelly, but he played with the rhythm and melody of lyrics just like they were notes from a trumpet. He also popularized scatting, the singing of nonsense sounds instead of actual words. What? Uh, all right. Uh, scoobity wop, de bop, de bop. Anyway, over the years, Armstrong's celebrity just kept growing. He appeared in Hollywood movies, had his own radio show, and was even sent on a government-sponsored goodwill tour of the world. People started calling him Ambassador Satch after that. Well, his nickname was Satchmo, short for Satchel Mouth, because he has such a big mouth. The world came to love Satchmo as much for his smile and lighthearted personality as his music. He was just a lovable guy. And he loved his work. Louis played hundreds of shows a year up until his death in 1971. Well, I, 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 could, I could give it a shot. Dad showed me some stuff once. Oh, cut that out. You did that on purpose. M Moby? <laughs>